right now to developing news in Wyoming where a suspect remains inside a home refusing to surrender to police. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks has been on this scene since it started around 6 o'clock tonight. Leon, what's the latest? Brian and Marley, unbelievable here. This has gone on since 4 o'clock. So we're talking seven hours that police have been in a standoff in these sub-zero conditions. A bizarre ordeal here is this suspect has emerged repeatedly. In fact, a short time ago, he came out yelling at the police. Now, we're purposely not showing you exactly uh, what's going on. We don't want to reveal any tactical positions of the police as they are in active standoff mode. The SWAT team is surrounding this home as we speak. But I can tell you we've heard bangs, we've heard glass breaking, and police are clearly amping up the pressure on this man to come out. It is a standoff of unusual sorts. A suspect emerging repeatedly and seemingly taunting the police. It's happened several times, and on at least two occasions, officers tried to take the suspect down using apparent non-lethal beanbag rounds. Police say a domestic violence call started all of this, a case that involved the suspect armed with a long gun. For police, it could hardly be more uncomfortable held at bay outside the home in wind chills well below zero. Add to that a man at the center of it all that at times seems to be treating this as a game. Now, because of this standoff situation, Burton Street is shut down between Clyde Park and Godfrey. They're not letting any traffic through here, so it's an area you'll definitely want to avoid. But police have certainly exercised a lot of patience here. Clearly, they want to bring this to as peaceful of an end as possible, and that effort continues tonight. We'll be following it as long as it goes on. We'll post updates at woodtv.com, and of course, Daybreak will have the latest first thing tomorrow morning. We are reporting live in Wyoming, Leon Hendricks, 24-hour News 8.